hello hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture will be solving this problem three sum so this problem is very similar to the two sum problem which we have already solved in the previous video of the same series where we are solving the blind 75 list so here in this problem we are given an integer array nums we have to return all the triplets in that array such that these triplets are present at different locations at different indices of the array and the sum of these three integers is equals to zero notice that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets means in the answer array we must not have same triplet appear appearing more than once right one triplet must appear exactly once fine so you probably you got the problem statement so let's better understand it using an example so this problem is called threesome problem so let's take this example that is we have this minus 1 0 1 2 0 1 2 then I have minus 1 4 minus 1 4 right and uh, no, minus 1 minus 4 so here in this example what I'm having the triplets that I have is one of the triplets is minus 1 minus 1 2 so minus 1 2 minus 1 this is triplet number 1 these values minus 1 plus 2 1 minus 1 is 0 they sum up to 0 another triplet can be 0 1 minus 1 right 0 1 minus 1 is there any other triplet which sums up to 0 no we do not have any other triplet which sums up to 0 so this is my answer array so that's what I have to return we given this type of array we have to return this array so how can I solve this problem what is the strategy to solve this problem now observe that any triplet must not appear more than once that means if I have written minus 1 2 minus 1 once then no matter how many times minus 1 or 2 appears I will not be including this type of triplet again that means let's say the array is something like this the array is like minus 1 we are, uh, I have one more minus 1 I have one more minus 1 I have one more 2 now once I have included this triplet although this constitutes once one more such triplet which sums up to 0 I cannot include one more triplet like this this is not allowed why because I already have it fine so that is the problem although in this case I can include 2 minus 1 I can in uh, okay is there any other way to include any of the terms which I have added here let's see that 2 no minus 1 do I have no there is no way to do so there is no way to do so right so <coughs> so basically this is not possible let's see how we can solve this problem so let's take this example the example is let's understand this with the same example which we have explained here that is minus 1 0 1 2 then I have minus 1 minus 4 then I have minus 1 minus 1 2 I have this example now what is the strategy to solve this problem how we can select these type of tuples from this given array such that the sum of elements in those tuples sums up to 0 
how I can do that. One of the simple, the naive solution is to use three pointers or three nested loops. So let's take one I, the external loop, which will select these elements one by one. Let's take another loop, which is the next nested loop. So there is a loop. I use a for loop, which goes from I to I and minus two I plus plus. So this pointer I will move from this position to this position. Why till this position? Because I need at least three elements to be included in the tuple. So if I go after this position, let's say here, I won't be having two more elements to be included in the current tuple. So that's why this is the external loop which runs from this position to this position. Now we'll have another loop which starts from the position just next to the ith position that is i plus one here. That loop goes from j which is i plus one till n minus one, right? It goes till n minus one till this position. Then, so here pointer i selects the first element of the tuple, pointer j selects the second element of the tuple. Now I'll, I will I will also have a pointer k which will select the third element of the tuple. So I will have one more nested loop. This is going to start from the element just next to the jth element from here. And it will move, this k will move till the last element, k plus plus, like here. So what I'm doing by using these three pointers, I'm selecting tuples like this, i, j, k. So i, j, then the third number, from this position till the last position, then j from this position till the second last position, then i from this position till third last position. So in this fashion, I'm going to select these three tuples from this given array and from all of these tuples, if I find a tuple which sums up to zero, that is nums of i, so nums of, nums of so here in this nested row, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to check if nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is equal equal to zero. That means this is a valid tuple. And here in the answer, I'm going to push this current tuple that is nums of i, nums of j, nums of k, right? Like this. So I will be pushing this tuple into the answer array. Fine. So that's how I build my tuples from this given array. So this is one of the strategies to solve this problem. Let's see, let's solve, let's see the next strategy. So this is the brute force way to solve this problem. What is the time complexity for this solution? We can see that I'm using a loop inside a loop inside a loop. So that loop, this has a complexity n, this has n, this has n. So the overall time complexity is big of n cube, right? Big of n cube. Then, uh, will this solution work? No, this is not going to work because you can see that the length is 3000. So if the length is 3000, then 3000 into 3000 into 3000 is going to give me something like 10 raised to the power 9. And this type of input is going to take almost 10 seconds to execute. So which is beyond the limit of, uh, which is beyond the time limit for this given uh, problem, right? The time limit is usually one second while this is going to take 10 seconds over this type of input size. So this solution is not practically possible for this problem, for the given constraints of the problem. So we have to improve upon it. We have to find a better solution. Now, remember what we are given here, we are given three sum problem, but we already know how to solve a two sum problem. This two sum problem is nothing but a two pointer approach. So if we have a sorted array, if the array is sorted in increasing or decreasing order, then all we have to do is use these two pointers to get the solution for this two sum problem. And 
that is going to take big of n time complexity like to perform two pointer strategy over this two some uh, problem right over the sorted array now but the problem is not two sum it is three sum so three how we can reduce three sum problem to two sum problem here in this two sum problem we need to select two elements and these two elements are handled by pointer i and pointer j while here in this three in this three sum problem i need to select three elements i j and k now maybe j and k can be handled by two pointers but i have to select this element i uh, with some other strategy so how i can basically reduce this three sum problem to the two sum problem that that is my uh, problem now that is the challenge that is the next challenge here so here just to improve upon the solution that i am given here here this type of solution here that is a nested loop solution what i can do is rather than using these two nested loops remember okay so here for this nested loop for this internal nested loop the two pointer strategy is going to take big of n time complexity and this is also big of n so this is going to give me a overall time complexity of big of n square right that's my answer that's my solution so i have to solve this problem right how i can do that just think about it uh simply use a external loop to select each element one by one using the pointer i that inside this external loop use two pointer strategy use this to the strategy which i used in this two sum problem so if you don't know how to solve this two sum problem just make sure to watch the video in the same series where i explained the solution for the two sum problem then you will understand this problem statement better so the solution is simple the first step is to sort the given array so let's sort the nums this is the step number first the second step is to use an external loop which starts from the first element till the third last element of the given array because i need at least three elements remaining after i select the ith element after like ith element i need two more elements for the tuple to be complete now inside this loop i have already selected one of the element that is nums of i so what is the target the target sum what is the target to sum the target to sum is minus of nums of i because if i find two elements in the remaining array starting from i plus 1 till n minus till n minus 1 if in this remaining array i find two elements with sum sub 2 minus nums of i equal to this then this minus sums of nums of i plus nums of i is going to give me zero and that is my uh, target right that's what i want to find so in this loop use two pointer strategy to solve that problem j i plus 1 then i'll have k which is n minus 1 so these are the two pointers j and k using these two pointers i'm going to find those two elements in the remaining array uh, that is in this range which are going to sum up which will sum up to nums of i fine you got it so how we can solve this problem how we can do that that is pretty easy it's easy to do that just use the two pointer strategy so use a while loop from j is less than k so if the sum nums of i nums of j plus nums of k is equal equal to target then that means this is the answer tuple this is my answer tuple so in the answer array i'm going to push this tuple the tuple includes nums of i nums of j and nums of k 
right otherwise if this sum else if nums of j plus nums of k if it is greater than target then that means i need to move the pointer pointer k back so k minus minus otherwise if this is less than target that is the third case in that case move pointer j ahead fine so these are the three conditions that i have in the two sum problem right now after that what i'm going to have is this will basically give me the solution but what is the problem here the problem here is that i'm not considering the duplicates using this simple strategy i will be including the duplicate tuples into my answer set why let's take let's dry run this code over an example so let's take this example uh, the example that we had taken initially that was uh, this one right this array so let's sort this array after when i sort this array i will have minus 1 minus 1 no, first i will have minus 4 then i will have three four minus ones so the sorted array would be minus 4 then minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 three minus ones right or four minus ones minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 four minus ones then i will have zero then i will have one then i'll have 2 2 1 2 2 so after that i'll have 1 2 2 2 so i will have this array so after i have sorted this array i want to find the tuples which sums up to 0 so let's see how we can do that uh, how i am doing it using the strategy which i explained uh, right now that is the three sum strategies after sorting the array user loop which uses this pointer i then use to some strategy over the remaining array to find the sum of two numbers with some some which sums up to minus of minus of 4 that is 4 find this find two numbers here in this remaining array which sums up to 4 so what will be the, those remaining elements so let's see that so here for minus 4 i want to find two elements in the remaining array with some which sums up to plus 4 so that would be minus 4 these two elements minus 4 plus 2 plus 2 that is going to give me 0 then i will move here minus 1 i have found one pair one pair which sums up to 0 that is minus 4 2 and 2 then i will have this minus 1 and in the remaining array i will have two numbers which sums up to plus 1 So what will be those, those two numbers? Those will be here, zero and one. So minus one, zero plus one. That is going to give me zero. So the second pair is minus one, zero, one. Let's move to the third pair, third tuple, not the pair, third tuple. So third tuple will start with this element that is minus one. And in the remaining array here, I want to find two elements which sums up to plus one. and those two elements are these which is 0 and 1 but we already have this tuple into the answer set but if i just follow the strategy which i have written down before i i am going to push this tuple into the set fine so what will happen i will be pushing a redundant tuple which is not there i will be pushing a redundant tuple into the answer set fine which is not okay so i have to skip it somehow so how i can do that to remove this we can see that the similar elements appear thrice we can see that i just wants to consider one of these three elements i i have to skip two of these elements 
so so as to skip these type of redundant tuples that's the only strategy so i will be skipping the similar elements so i will be using a loop so when I, when i is here when i find a tuple which uh, which sums up to 0 here like this when i found this you with this number minus 1 i found minus 1 0 and 1 then what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip all elements which are similar to this elements and which appears of course they will appear adjacent to this element so i will move this pointer i to the element which is just next to the last occurrence of minus 1 so the last occurrence of minus 1 is here you know it's here so i will move this pointer here so the j pointer would be here this is j pointer uh, is it i sorry it's i pointer so i will move this i pointer to this position because the next valid tuple is going to start with zero fine so that's all now the next tuple will start with zero i want to find two elements which sums up to zero in the remaining array i do not have any such element so i i'm going to start with this element which is one so in the remaining array i want to find two elements which sums up to minus one there are no such two elements so i skip i move to the next element which is two so i want to find two elements in the remaining array which sums up to minus two there are no such two elements again i move to the next element which is two and now i do not have any uh, okay so i just move up move up to up to this uh, this element one uh, this loop this pointer i which is the external loop will will not move beyond this point so finally in the answer set i will have these two tuples into the answer set that is minus four two two minus one zero one and i will return this set right from the array so how how i'm gonna code this solution let's do it that's so let's code this solution so here this is the code editor uh, first of all let's declare the answer array which will contain those tuples those valid tuples now let's sort this array which is nums array nums dot begin nums dot end Okay, so let's iterate over the array starting from position number 0 till n minus 2. Now, the what is the target? The target is the target is minus of nums of i, which I want to find in the remaining array. So to do so, I will use two pointers, which will be i plus 1, and then the second pointer would be k, which would be n minus 1. Now let's use a while loop j is less than k and since i want to find the minus nums of i what i will be doing is i will be finding if i have two elements nums of j plus nums of k uh, which sums up to target okay if there are then what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this answer dot push I'm going to push this nums of i nums of j and nums of k then here I will be incrementing the left pointer which is j to skip all of the elements which are the, the similar elements so till j plus 1 is less than k and nums of j is similar to nums of j plus 1 keep skipping the elements finally move j one unit ahead move k one unit back fine
then if it is not the case if nums of j plus nums of k is less than target then that means I need to include one of the elements which should be greater than the current element that is only possible if I move the left pointer towards the right that is j plus plus otherwise we only have the one condition left that is if the sum of nums of j plus nums of k so this is nums of k is greater than target in that case I have included one of the elements to be greater than what is required and in that case I'm going to move the right pointer to towards the left and finally after I have found the tuple here in here at this point what I will be doing is even at this point I need to skip the elements so if i is greater than 0 and nums of i is same as nums of i minus 1 in that case I am going to continue I will not be using the similar elements again and again so this thing is used this thing is used to skip the elements so here I can also use one more while loop I also need to use one more while loop that is skip all of the similar elements from the right side as well if this is greater than this is greater than uh, j then what I'm going to do and nums of k is same as nums of k minus 1 then skip these elements fine finally at the end I will have my answer already prepared which I will be retaining uh, which I will be returning at the end of this function right okay there is a problem I don't know what is n here n is the size of this nums let's push back sorry for this Okay, it got accepted and let's try to submit it. So that got accepted. I hope you got the solution. That was pretty, uh, you know, easy. If you just have solved the two-sum problem, uh, this problem will be um, relatively easier for you. So let's discuss the time and space complexity. You can see that uh, here we are using a sort function. This is going to take big of and log n time complexity right because we are using a sort method and here this extra loop is big of n while here in this uh, inside this loop this is two pointers so n into n this code is going to take n square time complexity n into so n into n so big of n into n plus n log n is going to give me the overall time complexity of big of n into n so this is a quadratic time complexity uh, which will work fine for the you know uh, given constraints because you can see that the given constraints are the length of the array goes up to 3000 so this is fine uh, we can uh, solve this problem in big of n square time complexity and that's why it got accepted because the solution was right fit for the given constraints of the problem so that's all for this uh, solution I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got how we solved this problem so this was nothing but, an, uh, but a basic ex extension to the uh, to some problem so there are a lot of there basically there is a gen generic problem to uh, we can say it is a k uh, we have a generic pattern that is k sum problem Sum, that is we are given an array and in this in in that array I want to find the I want to find all of the tuples each containing exactly k integers which sums up to 0 right which sums up to 0 so how are we gonna solve this how we'll be pushing all of the sub arrays or, or not the sub arrays all of the you know all of the subsets of uh, containing exactly k elements which sums up to 0 
that is a uh, that I will discuss in some other video because the video will get really longer if I discuss the same if, if I discuss that solution right here but remember that you can always reduce this k sum problem into a two sum problem so oh so this that's all for this video and I will see you soon in my next video with yet another problem and till then take care bye bye